What's up, Fit Lab crew? Coach Casey here, giving you the whiteboard breakdown for March 17th. Okay, we have two different elements that we're gonna be working through today. We have a, uh, our second week of our bench cycle, and we have a nice little Metcom burner to finish out the day for you. Okay, so to start off, we have three rounds of a general warm-up, of uh, six downward dog to cobra, seven tuck jumps, eight alternating side lunges or Cossack squats, and then nine sit-ups. Okay, after you get through one round of that, you're just gonna roll through that two more times, get the core fired up and get your blood pumping a little bit. Okay, going into our second portion, this is gonna be more focused on getting us primed up for our uh, second week of that bench cycle. Okay, we have two rounds of 30 second plank hold, so just driving into the ground, making sure we're nice and strong in our plank position, starting to get some weight on our hands. Then we're going into 11, or sorry, 12 shoulder circles, so in that same position, we're just circling around our wrist, okay? Starting to get those wrists a little warm, starting to, again, work on that plank position. We're in three push-ups right after those shoulder circles, then back to shoulder circles, but opposite direction. So if we went one direction, we're just gonna reverse it for 10 in the opposite direction. Then finishing off again with where we started on that 30 second high push-up plank. Okay, after you get done through that first round, take a little rest, go through it one more time. Okay, rest as you need to as you go through it, especially that second round. We want our form to be nice and locked in as we roll through that to prime up for our bench. Okay, talking about our bench. We're going into week two, okay? So um, week one, everything was just 5% lower here. Okay, so you can start off on week one if you need to. If you were there last week, we're just increasing everything by 5%. Starting off with two warm-up sets. First warm-up set is gonna be eight reps at 55%, increasing to 65% for five reps, and then increasing again 10% for five sets, three reps, okay? So this is where the work starts, taking a little bit longer rest in between our sets here, but these should still feel pretty smooth. Last week they should have been real light. This week they're getting a little more challenging but still feeling pretty good. And then the last two sets are gonna be as many reps as you can do in a row. Okay, last week we fell somewhere in between maybe 10 to 20 reps on this last portion. We're upping at 5% so that may drop just a little bit, okay? Take extra rest in between your first and second set, okay? So two minutes plus, Take that extra recovery because you're gonna need it, burning out on that first set, okay? Going over, if you're gonna do this at home, we're gonna be doing push-ups instead of bench, okay? Obviously, if you have the bench set up at home, you're still gonna be doing our second week of a bench cycle. If you do not have equipment, this is your homework. We're starting off with a max set of push-ups, so as many as you can do in a row without breaking, okay? If you can't do 20 or more on your toes, considering going on your knees or using a staircase or something elevated to make it a little bit easier so we can get that number up above 20, okay? Then starting off, two, two kind of warm-up sets similar to our bench where we're doing one set at 40% of our max, okay? Rest one minute, then a set at 50%. So say if I did that number, that 20 number that we were shooting for or more, then I'm just doing 10 reps here, taking a minute rest, and then I have five reps at 60% of that max set I did when I started. Taking two minutes of rest in between each one there, and then finishing off just like we did with our bench, we're doing as many reps as we can, taking a much larger break here, three to four minutes, and then repeating that one more time, okay? So these are very similar, or as similar as you can get without equipment. Going back to our, um, Finisher here, we have our Metcon. We have two different movements we're working through. We have uh, box jump overs and alternating dumbbell snatches. Starting off at 18 reps of each and working our way down the ladder and then back up. So 18 box jump overs, alternating snatches, then 14, 14, 10, 10, and working back up, 14, 14, finishing off with 18. The caveat here is we're gonna have a little shake up after each round. So I do my 18-18, and then I'm going to add four ring muscle ups after that round of 18. 
I'm gonna continue to do that after every single round until I finish that last round of 18, and then I add those four muscle-ups to finish it off, okay? To adjust with our skill for our ring muscle-ups, we can do bar muscle-ups, we can do chest-to-bar, we can do pull-ups, we can do dips, we can do a lot of different variations there, but what we're trying to focus on is getting the skill done unbroken, okay? So we don't wanna be sitting there staring at the rings because we can do singles on the rings and that takes us a really long time to get through, okay? After we finish that round of 18, should take a little bit of a breather, hop on our skill, knock it out, and get right back to work on our box jump overs, okay? Uh, adjustments for our at-home workout. Uh, it's gonna be the same rep scheme, except the middle round is going to be 12, and we're changing uh, the box jump overs to tuck jumps, uh, dumbbells and uh, kettlebell snatches stay the same. Also, if we have a pull-up rig, that is also going to stay the same, okay? If we do not have any equipment whatsoever, those snatches are going to turn into sit-ups, so it would be tuck jumps and sit-ups, and then instead of our uh, pull-ups after every single round, we're gonna change that into a 200 meter run to challenge your cardio a little bit because this, this version would be a little bit quicker, so we're gonna extend that just a little bit by adding that run to it and get that heart rate up a little bit, okay? So remember, as you're going through this, check out um, our YouTube channel for some tips from Dr. Stu for your bench and any other videos that we have coming out to give you a little bit more breakdown of these and all of our at-home workouts.